It's another K-Town beat. YouTube, 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 YouTube. It's your boy, Mr. Outliner. I'm back. This is the Icon Wall Clipper that they sent me. Now, this video is not about, you know, cutting hair, but more so the lineup, how to camouflage a receding hairline, uh, using hair fibers, how to do a natural hairline first, though, without it, and how to get a sharp look using my detail in this to where it looks like you use the pencil you know how everybody's using the pencil now I don't really care for the pencil I understand what the pencil does I'm not a big fan of it I feel like I can make a crisp line make that little white ash line as it does and you know with the re same results you know what I mean but anyway, so this is like how to do a lineup, how to camouflage your receding hairline, you know, how to use hair fibers, you know, things like that. So when you're starting the edge up, especially on receding hairline, you want to start where the hair is thickest at. And that's normally in the middle because it's receding on the sides and in the corners, right? You can see like he's receding a lot, right? but the thing you don't want to do is go up into where it recedes you want to just make a sharp line under it camouflage as if the hair was there now you see that right i made a sharp line without a lot of hair right no enhancements this is still a sharp line now it really looks it's okay but hair fiber there will fill all that in so everything looks evenly distributed right so the main thing is to do a natural line because the hair fibers don't last long right they may last uh, 48 hours depending on the person right that's a good day 48 hours now making this natural hairline when that 48 hours wear off this is what you're gonna have right here right so you have to take your time and get that part right and also we're gonna work on the beard this is how to do a lineup on the beard also we're gonna use hair fibers on the beard to make it pop also now also you want to make sure you're staying with the natural lineup it is very very important right stand on the natural lineup is very important and while you're doing the lineup you want to try to use the corner of your blade the corner of your blade is like a pencil right and if, if it's like a pencil then this is how you get the sharpest lines corners curves bends whatever you want to call it this is how you get the sharpest lineups right now on the beard, I have a beard, so I understand the beard, right? So you want to have guide points. So I kind of start like for his beard, where I showed you where I pointed at with the comb, but it's a little bit above where the crack of his lip is, right? And I started from there so I know what to do on the other side, right? Started from the same point to get the same look. Everything is about starting points. We started in the middle of the lineup, worked our way over right our sidebar it starts from kind of close to the end of the eyebrow a little bit in there right we started the beard from a little bit above the corner of the mouth on up you know the C starts right around the ear area or you know it's, somebody said it's not a C cup whatever man you know this is this moon thing this circle this round part right you know you start that around the ear and then the back you know the back is the back you just clean that up this is important to clean up the back in order to get a beard that much more pop now it's not always needed but for his haircut he just got it even all over no taper no anything uh, I lightly knocked it down a little bit more around the temple area and 
down by the beard just to give it a, a little effect but he asked for it even all over so this is what we did a caesar even all over depends on where where you're from right working our way to the other side you see that side is done working our way to the other side you want to do the exact same thing so basically we want to create a, a line underneath where it's receding as sharp as possible you know naturally as possible that's what we want to do take your time with it. you see that's why i'm pointing at that's where the receding is right also you want to make this line just like at the corner of the eyebrows uh every let me say this every sidebar doesn't have to be corner of the eyebrows somebody with a wide forehead does not need corner of the eyebrows it's gonna make their head look that much wider but for him it's okay so it's all due to your own discretion whatever you think like if it comes in you know you don't want it in too close and you don't want it back too far so you have to use your judgment on where the line should go right so like i said keep it natural keep everything smooth that way and and then after that you can use your hair fiber same thing with the corner on this side using the corner of the lip right above the lip you know uh, to start the beard point like i say everything has a point right and you might be looking at this cut like man he cool like this like he, he really don't need hair fibers and it, hey look it's all preference right so whatever he wants or whatever the client wants that's what you do right and he signed up then he made his appointment and he picked what he wanted he picked haircut with enhancements now he's from florida he came to me this is my first time cutting he came to me and said you know he'd been dealing with barbers and nobody's getting his haircut right at the end he was very satisfied he gave me a 40 dollar tip right at the end of this haircut i got a 40 dollar tip so I don't care what somebody's saying to me about enhancements or nothing like that. I got a $40 tip, bro. Think about that, right? So, anyway, you might feel that way about the haircut, but it's all about what the client wants, how you make them look. You have to make him feel like, man, I got a transformation type thing while he's in the chair. If you can do that, then you'll have clients, you'll get tips, you could charge more, da 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 da, right? So I'm giving you a little game at the same time, right? It, it's it's uh, even more than the haircut, the liner, right? Now I want to come back, use a little bit more detail in this. Now I want to use a little bit more detail in this because once I spray the hair fiber, I need the detail in this. Uh, I need the hair fiber from to lock into the detail in this so the reason why i'm respraying it because and i'm only spraying it in the areas where it's the most light at right and i'm using the mist to lock in the fiber so this mist it you know holds the hair in place and it also holds the hair fiber in place and it also makes the skin dry so you can create those lines that you need to create where you can see where you can give that effect right so now his beard it's a little light towards the front so i want to fill it in right and this is what i'm doing i'm filling it in i'm making everything even look as natural as possible and it does right if you have a little few other light spots you just go in and hit that too and boom there you go look at that nice beard same line that i already used didn't make a line with the hair fiber i just put my car where my line was and i came and i sprayed the light spot just like i'm doing right here the receiving spot now sometimes you can spray out too much like right here you probably feel like man it's a little too dark right i'll show you a trick in just a second on how to get that out right so on the sides you do a little less than you do in the front because the hair is not as thick on the side as it is on top 
right? It's just a, a appearance, right? You could take the wide side of your comb, comb through where you put the hair fire bed that was too thick to make it look more natural. Now, when you look at it, it looks a little bit more natural now, right? It looks like it's a part of his, his hair. So all we did was camouflage it a little bit, right? And this is how you camouflage receding hairlines. You know, and, and like I say, it might only last 48 hours, 24 hours, but for today, you know, uh, this is the day before Thanksgiving. For today and tomorrow, he's gonna have this look, as, as long as he take care of his hair, right? So look, now it looks like it, it never was receding. And I'm gonna show you this side and then I'm gonna turn his head where you can see the other side and you're gonna be like, dang, okay, now you can see the difference, right? Even on the lineup on the beard, on the beard, because I lined them up so good already, I really don't have to go back and tap that, but I'm gonna do that because I'm a perfectionist, right? So look, major difference already right this is how you create a look for your client that that didn't have a look because he was receiving and you you looking at it now you wonder like damn that's why he gave him a 40 dollar tip look at it you know what i mean this is this is what you do when you can take your time and you know you have a system in place on how you're going to approach the hair look at the other side light right big difference big difference right this is you know a look that i can give him once you can create a look for your client they're gonna always come to you because you the person that created the look so same thing on the other side we do the exact same steps Now we got to the end of the cut. You see what we got. This is the finished product right here. Looks full. We got everything looking good. He Thanksgiving turkey ready. You dig what I'm saying? So, but anyway, if this your first time or you know you, you came through before but didn't do it, don't forget like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. You know how we do it. Until next time, love, peace, and hair grease.